Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today as part of our birth preparation, blah, 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 blah. today as part of our birth preparation, we are doing a belly cast. Last time we did uh, the belly cast with CC when I was pregnant with CC at 38 plus three, so 38 weeks plus three days. Um, and I'm now 38 plus one. So we're figuring we might not have much time left. So we're gonna do it today. Um, I thought that we should do a video on it because when we were looking for tutorials there wasn't really any out there so um, here's how we do it um, and um, our process as to how we get our bump cast. So first things first, if it's cold put the heating on because the person who's pregnant is going to have to sit basically naked so make sure the heating is on, make sure there's plenty of towels um, and then we'll show you just now what the equipment is that you need to get started. So we started off by using this belly casting kit. You can get them online on lots of websites. I'll post the link in the description below. It comes with the instructions, some rubber gloves, and also the plaster rolls that you need to make the cast. We didn't use the rubber gloves because we didn't feel like we needed to. You'll also need a bowl of warm water. It's very important that it's warm, otherwise it can shock the baby. And also you'll need some towels and a sheet to cover the area that you are sitting in. So first things first, have a look at the instructions if you're not sure how to get started. But the first thing that we do is chop up all of the plaster rolls into smaller pieces so that it's easier to just grab them. Once your hands are wet and covered in plaster, it's really not fun to be cutting pieces of plaster. So Anthony chops them up into some longer pieces and some shorter pieces so that it's easier to mould them around the shape of the belly. So the next step is to prepare your pregnant partner, make sure that they are basically naked. I wore underwear just for comfort and also that they're covered in a towel that they can then sit on or put around their legs like I have. You also need to make sure that the belly and the boobs are completely covered in like Vaseline or an oil or a moisturiser. Um, usually your bump kit will come with something but ours didn't this time so we just used a moisturiser. This was a really nice moment for Anthony and I because we don't really get to spend a lot of time together and he hasn't spent much time with this bump uh, compared to Cece's pregnancy. So it's a really nice moment for you and your partner to just have a conversation and relax whilst your partner does all the work. As you can see, Anthony is making sure that he starts with the boobs first and then makes his way down around the belly. That's just his method. You could do it the other way if you wanted to, but we just find that this way works the best. So you want to start with one layer and then build it up as much as you can so that it's really nice and thick. We did one with Cece's pregnancy to start with and it was a complete failure because we didn't build up the layers enough. Anthony uses pretty much all of the rolls that are included in the pack. So make sure that you go around the edges and make sure it's really nice and strong. You'll be able to feel how hard it gets once it starts to dry and how heavy it becomes. And that's a good sign that it's structurally sound. So Anthony also has a really good technique for dipping the pieces of plaster cast in the water. He just dips them and then runs the excess water off of each piece with his hands. He actually started doing this a lot less just to be quicker towards the end. But to begin with, you can run the excess water off with your fingers if you don't want it to be dripping too much.
Also make sure that you offer your partner toilet breaks, water and snacks throughout. It can take 30 or 40 minutes to complete the whole thing so it's quite difficult to sit still for this amount of time when you're in your third trimester. We also took this opportunity to take some photos. You don't have to, but we just wanted to before it started to dry and I removed it. So once you're happy that you've covered everything you wanted to, you can wait for the cast to become dry enough that you can remove it. Your partner, whilst you're sitting, can be cleaning up the mess that they've made and um, wait patiently for you to remove the cast. You gotta explain. explain to say what? what you like. What are you I'm doing? I'm taking it off now. Yeah, but like, what are you oh, doing? Are you like well, breathing? I'm gently, I'm gently pushing with my thumbs and gently. Uh, oh, it all came off in one go. <laughs> now look at your belly button. Look at your belly button. Well, my, my actual belly no, button. No, no. Okay. <laughs> So once you've removed the belly cast, lay it down on a towel or other dry surface and make sure that it's laid this way and not the other way, otherwise it will flatten and leave it for at least 24 hours to dry. So thanks for watching our video on how to do a bump cast. We'll show you the final product in maybe another video. Um, we're going to be looking at how to decorate it this time because last time we kind of rushed. Um, so we'll do a separate video on how to decorate it but that's basically how you do a bump cast I hope you found it helpful um, and we'll see you on the next video